Hello everyone, this is Momizi X Ran, and today we're gonna do another Enforcer fight for Sword no Kisaki SC for the final chapter. This will be our fourth one. Now, for our main parties today, will be Agate and Tita, because I'm gonna keep it on a theme based. And Agate's not part of the theme though, but Tita is. So, as you notice with all the equipment I have on right now, I do not have instant death. There's a reason for it, anyway. So, I'm trying to make it harder for myself in the fights. As for the items for Tita, found mostly on the dungeon, but I gave her mostly defense because, as you know, her health is very short, so she'll die. That's the case. As for Orbit wise, I just gave her from level 2 to 4. That's pretty much it. The gate's still the same, everyone else is still the same. For tactics, on the other hand, this is my formation. You'll know why later, okay? So let's get started on the boss fight. This boss fight is one of my favorites, due to the fact you can fight Patinamatidu again! And how much health does he have? I'll show you! 45,000 HP. Gotta love fighting a giant robot with that amount of health, that's for sure. Len Chan is still the same, that's for sure. I like her a lot. Anyway, let's get started again. We start off with the usual buffs, and that's pretty much it for now. And give the clock up Kai to a gate as well. Oh my god, Joshua died? Well, that was quick. Alright, we'll play defensively then. Ha ha ha! I'm gonna have Tita cast Earthwall at least, but what can I do with this firepower right now? Nothing else. Oh well, we'll see how this goes. Madame, I'm 
<laughs> this is starting to get funnier and funnier again. Oh well. Oh wow, a gate even died? <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> uh, I forgot to mention, Potato Matadu can also cause instant death <laughs> with that move of his. You know, I think I should have it as a recurring theme that Joshua dies a lot in this theme. That would be hilarious as hell if he continues to die in the later fights. That would be hilarious indeed. Oh, Pateru Materu, how can you miss? Oh well, at least you give me a chance to retaliate once again. Which is kind of good. <laughs> uh, heal up, yeah, for now. It's gonna live. That'll be cool. I hope not. Well, Pateru Materu did it now. Double Buster Cannon. Gotta love that move.
Bringing Tita along has no effect on the fight as uh, anyway, but it does sort of make it a little bit more emotional since she did spend some time with Len in Chapter 3. That's what I'm going for anyway. The emotional impact, but it might not be there for you guys. Maybe. Depending how you see it. Oh no, I killed Lencha. Oh. No problem. Pateru Materu Reviver. Yeah, the key point of this battle is to kill Pateru Materu first, then kill Len. Easy way to win, then. Oh, by the way, killing Len constantly does not give you more EXP, so don't think about using her as, like, an EXP grinder. Not worth it. <laughs> Super spam and magic. That's the only way to win this battle sometimes. Or you can just do melee with Joshua. If you get his strongest weapon, of course, then yeah, it will do a lot more damage than right now than what I'm doing. And crap, that's not good. <laughs> Whoa, Tita's alive still? Holy crap. Okay, that's amazing. Well, even with buffed up strength, Joshua is not doing a good job. Estelle will do more of a better job than him then. Eh, whatever. It would have thunk. Um, I can't heal a gate. Crap. Okay, then I will heal who? You know what? I'll just heal Joshua. Farewell, Tita. Farewell. You served your purpose, I think. Who knows? See? And might as well show you off Joshua's final move as well. With that move that Paturu Maturu does, it can sort of dizzy you sometimes too. Holy crap! Joshua died again! Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> oh crap, now I'm stuck in the corner. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Alright, let's just hope Tita can survive two hits directly. If not, I'm doomed! Oh well, I just bumped myself up with, uh, let's see, this one, yeah. Well, this is bad. Tita's dizzy. <laughs> this is amusing. Oh, great. <laughs> It sure makes me wish that I really did put Estelle with some revival magic. But I didn't. Okay, I just had to run all the way there then. Makes sense.
Thank you, Joshua, for being the bait. <laughs> I will laugh my heart out if all of a sudden I die from one single Cypro from Lin. That would be hilarious as hell. Well, Paten Matter is about to die, and oh wow, you still survive. Alright, if that's the case, Estelle, I'll let you live this time. Ooh, cute. Death? Oh. Let's see who will die. All three? Oh, only Joshua. Okay. Another turn down, poor Lin. Let's see, what can I do? What? Hey, how much HP do you have? Nah, that won't kill you, so that would do us no good. I don't have any CP, do I? Nope. Okay, that means Lin's gonna get revived again. Eh, whatever, it'll be okay. Let's see, this for a game. I still died, oh wow. So priceless. Alright. Yeah, as I mentioned before, the accessory that Estelle has that blocks every style's element, yeah, it doesn't this still doesn't block instant death, which is quite strange. Bye bye, Pateru Materu! Honestly, it's been a while since I've seen a robot do that. That's like, kind of shocking, but it shows that it has a sense of life for him as well.
Well, this ends our fight, so yeah. Still loving him. <laughs> uh, Tita got like six levels. That's hilarious. Honestly, I really want Pot to hit him out to do. He's so awesome, anyway. Personal flight unit as well? Who, won't, who wouldn't want that in real life? Alright guys, that ends chapter... Ugh, no, that just ends our Enforcer fight anyway. So, we'll be back next time with another Enforcer fight. So, until then, see you guys next time.